Have you ever been in a meeting or on a phone call when someone asks, where are we again? Or can you give me a plan view? We all have. We don't think much of it because, of course, it's hard to follow along when someone else is driving a 3D model and, really, it only takes a minute or so to show the person where we are. But those minutes add up and amount to serious wasted time. This is what Orient is here to fix. With Orient, when someone asks, can you give me a plan view, they're shown in milliseconds exactly where you are and only what they care about, their model. Orient allows you to right-click on any model item or model items and choose Show in Plan. When clicked, Orient hides all other models, shifts into a plan view, and renders a large arrow pointing to the exact position of the item. Once in this view, you can still navigate in 3D, toggle on and off grid lines by tapping the G key, and save viewpoints using the camera tool. When you're done, a simple button press and you're back to the same point you started. Ready for coordination. Orient. Dead simple. Infinitely useful. Distill works to simplify the number of clashes that the Navisworks Clash Detective provides using a custom algorithm that groups clashes into sets that are logical to review together. Take this simplified example. We have two pipes running through a section of ductwork. When this occurs, Navisworks identifies the clashes exactly how we'd expect a computer to. One for each surface each pipe runs through. In this instance, Navisworks has identified seven clashes, when in reality, only one issue exists. Multiply this over a project, and Navisworks provides thousands more clashes than are needed for your team to fix the problems. In the past, it took hours to group these clashes. Distill takes care of this work with a single click and in lightning speed. The interface of Distill is simple. Each clash test you set up in the Clash Detective is available within Distill, with a few options to select. These options are automatically remembered as you change them. For each test, you select the model most likely to move, which gives Distill insight into the model hierarchy you have already established with your coordination team. You then have the option to adjust a focused or global slider. This is useful for either getting the bigger picture of clashes within a test or focusing on specific issues. By default, Distill will never explode any existing groups, which is useful for when you receive model updates. To change this behavior, there are flags you can set for each test to tell Distill to explode and regroup existing groups with specific statuses. It's a way to tell Distill to leave certain clashes alone that you may have already assigned additional properties to. The last option you have before running Distill is whether or not you wanted to insert clashes into existing groups. These statuses allow Distill to insert new clashes from model updates into existing groups that make sense for them to be in. If none are found, Distill will make new groups. You can also adjust these settings for multiple tests all at once. Once you are ready to Distill, you simply select the test you want to run and click the button. Distill only takes a few seconds to run through thousands of clashes. In this example, it has distilled over 2,000 individual clashes into 310 logical clash groups in under 5 seconds. After Distill has fully grouped a test, a green check appears next to the clash test name, which indicates Distill does not need to be run again. Let's take a look at a couple examples of the groups Distill created. I'll click on the sheet metal versus plumbing clash test. Distill has uniquely numbered each clash group and has sorted the list by the number of clashes within each group. This is done to quickly bring the worst problem areas to the top of your list. The naming convention Distill uses can be adjusted on a per-project basis within the settings. Here you can add things like level, model name, and or grid line to the clash group names. The beauty of Distill is its dead, simple interface, sane defaults, and speed. Something that would take hours of time and energy can now be done in seconds. This greatly reduces the time needed in order to produce useful models for your coordination team and, because of this, shrinks the overall coordination cycle time. Instead of receiving model updates weekly, why not daily? Why not twice daily? With Distill and Sherlock, speed is at your fingertips. Have you ever found yourself asking where the best place to start coordinating is? 
And then, why can't Navisworks just tell me where the worst clashes are? Well, now, with the help of HeatMap, it can. HeatMap analyzes every clash in every clash test and visually displays the 10 worst areas as hotspots rendered right in the model. After the hotspots are shown on the screen, you still have the ability to navigate in 3D. While the rendered hotspots are great for flying around an area to get the whole picture, the real power of HeatMap lies in the publish functionality. This provides a simple operation to relay HeatMap's information to your coordination team. Once clicked, you have the option to select which things you would like HeatMap to produce. HeatMap can produce a saved viewpoint of the hotspots, and it can also prefix each clash group name with the hotspot number they are involved in so that your team can see which clashes are related across clash tests and which ones to work on first. The last option you have is to produce actual clash tests with copies of the hotspot clashes in them. With those, you are able to use the full power of Navisworks to review the issues with your team. The days of flying around a model trying to visually identify the worst issues are in the past. HeatMap takes care of that reoccurring work in seconds to get you and your team to coordination faster.